Let's take a quick look here at ways we can deal with seams here. When we apply materials, we essentially get 2D repeats here. And where I have unwrapped this geometry, we will see a seam, unless you have a 3D material. But some, sometimes you, you want to have a material that actually applies it with the UVs. And sometimes you want to do something like this. If I enable this material here and turn it on, I have a 3D material, so I'm essentially applying the same material, but with a 3D projection instead. I'm going to now produce a mask that we can use to automate essentially the seam problem here. So let's take a look at that next here. So first off, I drop down a UV mask, so tab UV mask, and I get this one here. And, and we essentially want to bake what we see here, but essentially here when it's transparent, we want to have black outside. So if I would make a bake point here, we can see here what happens and, and bake this down and see here. And then I look through the bake point and I unhide. You can see here, essentially we get bleeding and that's good in most cases, but in our case here now, it's, it's not a desired thing. So we need to do this the old fashioned way and that is going to the node itself, right click, edit and say bake to paint node instead. And this one will actually help us in what we want to achieve here. So let's see here. And now I get the paint node, but look here now when I look through onto this paint node and then turn off this UV uh, rendering here. You see here now essentially we get a black and white mask where the UVs was cut off there. So the next thing here, if I select this paint node and go up to here to the filters operations here and say blur, and say Gaussian, for example, we can see here, I can uh, increase the radius. But as you can see here, the radius is quite small. It's only 50 pixels and I can't go beyond 50 here at this moment in Mori. But the workaround could be doing this instead. You see here, I have 4096 pixels, but essentially here I can get away with uh, doing this instead. So if I go and rebake this and edit bake to paint and I say, OK, Let's say 1024 instead, because I'm going to blur this. And this gives me now 1024 pixels patches here. And now when I blur this, my filter operation is going to be more aggressive. Like so, you can see here now it's super aggressive. Let's apply this now here. Let's take a look what we get here on the asset itself here. So let's invert this as well. I'm inserting the invert node. So with the invert node, we can then start to contrast this to essentially expand the border area here. So we can do a brightness lookup or any other contrasting operation. Brightness gives me essentially like a kind of a visual ramp here. So like something like this, depending on how much you want this effect to be essentially bleeding over here. So essentially what I'm going to do is to I'm going to apply this 3D material where we have these uh, seams going down like this. And to be able to pick this UVC mask up, I'm going to store this in a geo channel. So what, what I'm going to do here is to say bake point. I'm going to take a 4096 pixels bake point, set it to scalar and then bake this down. And you will see here why soon. So I'm going to bake this, the result of this. And now here, essentially, we can also do a filter operation here. So essentially we are going from a 1024 operation here, we might see some pixelation here. And what we can do is to smooth this out. So if I go to filter and say edit filter and now apply a secondary blur here, let's see Gaussian 50 pixels like so. If I look through this one and you say now I essentially took away the pixelation here I treated this as a second blurring on top because now I'm back to 4096 pixels mask here. And now lastly here, I'm going to export this into a geo channel. So let's say you will see and export to geo channel. And now, for example, here, if I go back, if I hide the no graph and go back to my lay track or look through the shader, let's see here. So we have this one here with with all of the seams visible. If I take a look here now, we want to apply this one, but using this mask. So what we can do here, if I enable it and say this mask stack here. I'm just going to dock this over here and hit tab and type geo channel. I'm going to pick up my UVC mask. And now you can see here essentially where I apply this one now, it's going to start to bridge the fudge the, the seams here. So now we can essentially scale this material individually a bit. So it suits here. 
can take this underlying material here and probably just repeat it a bit more like so. And now we we don't get this obvious seams here like you do there. So now it depends on here how much I want to treat this. I can do some additional tweaking here of the mask if I want to do this even further like so. 